Hey, good evening all. All right, the Sabres lay another egg at home. Let's talk about it coming up. I'm gonna keep my cool, I just am. Look, I'm not even gonna clip out anything, guys. You seen what I seen, they out hit us 25 to 10, and we were easy pickings. That's just what I seen today, guys. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna read out a few things that uh, stand out for me, why we laid an egg in this game. And um, the truth is, the better team won. Columbus were full marks for winning that game today. When I can't watch after it's three to one, I couldn't even, it was too embarrassing, guys. It's too embarrassing how we're chicken shits when it comes to physical play. It's too embarrassing. I can't watch it. I can't. So I shut it off for a while and Jim was texting me. I said, I don't even want to watch them. When I know when they're going to lose. It's very predictable. All right, the first period, okay. Let's look at the first period. The, uh, the hits were 8-3. to three. Columbus, they had a 2-1 lead. Then they out hit us in the second period, 7-5. to five. They extended that lead to 4-1. to one. Third period, the Sabres rally, even though we were out hit 10-2. to two. But we were out hit every single period. There was more hustle, I found, in the Columbus team. They looked sharper. They looked more aggressive. And... Um, the truth is, guys, I mean, if we, can get, if we can take a stab at Gibson, we better for goaltending. We better think about it because, you know, we don't have all-star goaltending on this team, and I think we're going to need it to get in. You know, it's starting to look more and more like our goaltending is not going to hold up by the time this is all said and done. And I don't want to put the blame just on the goaltenders, all guys. It's, you know, that's too easy to do. It's a team, it's a team game. You lose as a team, you know. And what's, what's sad about this is, um, you know, we, were, we look so damn impressive on that Florida trip physically, and we've come home, we're non-existent physically again. We're just non-existent. And that's not because Tuck's out of the lineup, please. I can show you his hitting numbers this year. They're not great. It's not because of that. It's a team strategy. This is Granado, okay? This is Granado, again, going with October hockey during a playoff push. You're not going to get teams... And this isn't even a team in. You're not going to get teams, guys, that are going to ease up on us physically at this time of the year. It's not happening. It's not going to happen. Washington's an exception to the rule. They're not a very... They're kind of, they're kind of rebuilding. They're just not saying it yet. They're going to start rebuilding over there, you could tell. So, you know, this is, this, yeah, this is a frustrating loss. Yes, this stings, guys. But at the same time, we haven't budged. We're still the next team knocking on the door to get into the wild card, but I hate giving up our games in hand like this. You know, I hate it. And, you know, like the season's dwindling down, and all it's going to take is one losing streak and we're out. We're gone, you know. And I'm just surprised Granado let them play this brand of hockey today. I thought they'd come out way more mean. I, I just did. I, I, you know, I fooled myself into believing it. I, I was stunned. By the time this game was 3-1 to one Columbus... Honestly, guys, I didn't have any hope. I honestly didn't. Like, I was shocked when we made it 4-3. to three. I was like, we don't deserve to be in this game. We really don't. And, um, you know, we'll just, we'll just have to uh, pull up our socks, guys, and get ready for the Bruins now because uh, it's not going to get easier. And, guys, I'm going to say it as much as you don't like to hear it. I hope if we play like this in Boston that they kill us, that they Bust up our bones, bust up our heads on the boards. I hope the Bruins teach the kids, you're not going to come in here and be softies and get away with it on our home ice. I hope that's what, I hope that's what the Bruins do to them, really. I hope we lose 9-2 to two and they out hit us 45-10. to 10. If, we go, if we're going to lose, I hope they murder us and teach us a lesson. Because we're never going to learn if we continue playing like what, what i seen tonight. We're never going to learn. No, not until we get our, not until we get decapitated in a game. Not until, it, like, I, I, you know, and I'm not going to rant. I'm not going to rant on this tonight because what's to rant about? We, thought we lost to the worst road team in hockey pretty easily in my books. Pretty easily. So maybe we should look at our system and say it's not very successful all the time. And when we were hitting, we were winning. 
we were winning. And now, I don't know. My, my guess is the Sabres will probably show up physically against Boston. They'll probably show up. But guys, why do they have to show up once in a while when it's a really hard game? Why can't they show up in a game like this? Why, why is Granato have them doing the running gun when it's not working and they're, they're rubbing us out on the boards all game? It's, it's, uh, it's frustrating to watch, guys. But I'm going to leave it there. No point, really. I'll just uh, go briefly over the numbers. I won't, I won't uh, clip it out. I'm going to save as much of my energy tonight as possible. I'm not even clipping anything out of this one. This is a joke. Oh, Lord. You know, come on, guys. And Detroit, what, what's happening to the Red Wings? They're getting murdered by Ottawa. Told you guys, look out for Ottawa. Look out for Ottawa. Keep an eye on that team. I would pick that team before Detroit to get in, this Ottawa team. This Ottawa team, man, if they ever catch fire. We're lucky that Norris has not played this year because that Ottawa team would be right here. They're already right here. Imagine if they would have Norris all year. Um... Okay, we have shot him 41-36. Uh, the face-off's good again tonight, 53% to 47, guys. One for three in the power play, they're one for one. They out-hit us 25 to 10. There's the game. That's the game. 14 blocks, we had 10. They had 15 giveaways, we had 11. They had 15 giveaways and beat us. Forget the scoring and forget the rest of it. Uh, it, it there's nothing to really look at. Um, guys, Olofsson was invisible again tonight. He just was. He was invisible again. Um, the truth is, Middlestat was also. I, you know, there's some guys in this team we got to move. I, I, unless you guys love them so much that you want to continue missing the playoffs every year. I would think about it if I was you. I don't care if these are your favorite players. Do you want the Sabres to succeed in the playoffs or not? And if you're telling me we need guys like Victor Olofsson that could pull a disappearing act in the playoffs... Is that worth five million bucks to you? Got to think about these things, you know? Ocposo, too, was lousy tonight. You know? Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. The whole team kind of looked off. But the truth is, I would if I was Granado, I would have said, hit everything. Hit everything tonight. Just hit everything out there. No mercy. Hit everything. And we'll see what the score is at the end of this game. That's what I would have done as a coach. I would have had everybody playing physical hockey. And yeah, break out. You get a chance to break out, break out. But on the way back, you rub your man out on the boards. You don't skate past him trying to tip the puck away. Oh, I'm not going to rent. I'm not going to rent. <laughs> I'm not going to rent. All right, guys, I'm leaving it there. I'm not talking anymore about this game. It's too embarrassing. It is. The Sabres today, the truth is, I, I, I wish Stillman would have been in the lineup. <laughs> Honestly, that's how I feel. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Go watch a movie. Enjoy yourselves, guys. It's just hockey. It's not real life. You know, your loved ones in the room next to you. That's what's really important in this life. But for us fans, we're passionate. We want to see the team do good. And I don't want to get teased for 80 games. And because of two games this year, the whole season's a wash because of our, our stupid system. That That's going to kill me to watch it. But uh, I will. I'm stubborn. I'm a fan. Just, it's, it's heartbreaking, is all. All right, guys, done for tonight. You guys have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hang in there.